line number 118 for bass clarinet being played on a regular clarinet. Okay, we'll play it. I'll play it, and then we'll talk about it. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So on a bass clarinet, everything, of course, is going to sound an octave lower than that deeper, lower sound, which is the awesomeness of the bass clarinet. Uh, but what the key thing is here with this is this is going to the upper register notes, which is really awesome. All right. So let's focus on the first two measures. And then I'm going to let you figure out the rest on your own. All right. So the, the, there's a, a, a five step process for learning it. The first step is to say the ta's and tap your foot. So here we go. Let's say it together. First two measures. One, two, three three, four. Ta, 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 for right? Notice I didn't slur. I'm just saying the ta's. Second step in the process is to, to do exactly what you did with your voice on your instrument on one note without switching fingers. So I think I'm going to do this on a D because that's the first note that we play. You can pick whatever note you want. All right, so here goes. One, two, three, four. Fermata, right? Okay, now, <clears throat> next step is to say the notes and do your fingers as if you're playing, you know, the instrument uh, and tap your foot, right? So if you don't know your note names, uh, I want you to pause the video and look them up so that you can say them and push the buttons at the same time and tap your foot, all right? Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. D, C, B flat, F with a ferrata, right? Okay, now notice that the B flat and the F looks like it didn't do anything, but what it is is I'm adding my register key. There's the B flat, there's the F, okay? And so that's the difference between the fingering on those notes, right? If you're looking just at the front of the clarinet, you can't really tell that I'm doing anything different. All right, so make sure that you can say it like I just did and tap your foot, okay, to a steady beat. Then the next step is to actually play it, but still no slur. One, two, three, four. <laughs> And then finally, the fifth step is to add in the slur. Okay, so make sure you can do it without the slur first. Okay, one, two, three, four. All right, and I'll let you figure out the rest of it. You just go two measures at a clip, work it the same way, figure out the notes, push the buttons, have fun.